your approach to the work of comedy mm -hmm. is inspiring. And like you're talking about, oh, I'll just write for five hours a day because Seinfeld said. But mm -hmm. I mean, I've gone through phases where I'm like, I'm writing every day and this is great. And then it's like you miss one day and then one day turns into a week and then a week turns into a month and then it's a year. Mm -hmm. And you're like, wait, where'd my writing habit go? Like exactly. what, what kind of tips do you have for comedians to start that daily ritual? We all know we should do and we all feel better when we write. But it there seems to be a block with us just staying consistent, you know. Yeah. Well, I think that's with everybody and everything. Like if you're a, like if you're Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger or The Rock, he's in the gym every day. That's what he does. It's mm -hmm. like his religion. It's non-negotiable. And when I decided I was going to write, it was going to be non-negotiable. I had to get every day. I had to be in that seat. And it was like I know comedians who have a day job who adhere more to the schedule of that day job that they hate than they do to their writing schedule because they impose it upon themselves. And I think there's a couple of blocks there. One is a lot of comedians get into uh, equate comedy with frivolity and therefore they treat their careers frivolously. Hmm. And so it's like, well, I kind of got into this to beat the system, you know, so why would I adhere to a system if I don't want to be in a system? And comedy serious business, man. When you're making yeah. four, th your minimum pay is four thousand a week, writing a, on a late show, then it's worth. It's you better work your butt off if you want that job. It's it's harder than you think. Um, but you know, so if I get up every day and then my that my day is basically, I, I make my coffee, I sit down with my laptop, open it up at the kitchen table. And I'll say, okay, I'm going to look for 10. Uh, I'm going to look for, I'm going to start with three headline jokes. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just take three headlines. And with those three headline jokes, I'll usually write, say, 15 jokes per headline. And that, that gets me started. Okay. And so then, um, and that'll be, uh, and then I'll be like an hour and a half in or something like that. And then I'll write some more. And I might get inspired to go off on a different place. Sometimes I sit down and I go, okay, today I'm going to do, I assign myself like on a certain day. So I'll assign myself today's cliche reformations. So I'm just going to grab 10 random cliches that everybody's familiar with. And that can include book titles, movie titles, um, slogans for corporations. Uh, I'll just write those down and say, okay, I'm going to write uh, some takeoffs and some reformations. So a reformation is taking the first part of the cliche and then coming up with a second ending, right? So uh, it's like W.C. Fields. If at first you don't succeed, our brains are running, try, try again. Mm -hmm. And all, you, all he says is quit. There's no use killing yourself over it. So finding a cliche and finding a second ending. So then I'll do a few of those. And that'll just, or if I do one, also I'm, I'm inspired. Because there's some days you wake up, you don't, you don't feel like it. Exactly. And so if I do one or two of those, I'll be like, wow, I'm feeling like it now. I feel inspired because I came up with one joke. Uh, one okay. joke can change your whole viewpoint of how you feel about writing today. You just have to show up every yeah. day. You just force yourself. And we're, you're talking about a five-hour habit, but would you start off like, okay, I'm just going to sit down and write one joke every day. And then it like grows into, oh. I wrote one. Now I feel like writing five more. Mm -hmm. Like you just kind of yeah, it small started, goals type deal. In, in fact, that's what Gene Parrott said to me. Sit down, write one, one joke a day. Next week, change it to three jokes a day. Next week, double it. Go to six jokes a day. Because if you could write three, you could write six. Mm. It was tough when I started hitting 18, then 30. And I was like, I'm ta tapped. He goes, push yourself. And then I got past 30 to 60. And then, then all of a sudden it just grew. And every threshold I hit and passed it, I knew if I could pass that one, I could pass this one. And so it sort of became like uh, trying to be a, a, an athlete towards your writing. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to push myself further. And if you're not sitting down every day pushing yourself to get better, you're not improving. We see comics do this all the time. They plateau and they sort of stay the same with no reinventing or no new discoveries. As comics, they're just the same. You know, mm -hmm. so it's like... How, are they, how do they expect to get better if they're not doing anything to improve? Are you improving the amount of mics you're doing uh, per week? Are you improving the amount of jokes you're writing? Are you trying to come up with fresh stuff? Are you replacing the mundane jokes that get mediocre laughs with laughs that get you know, real punches and applause breaks? If you're not effectively doing that, you're not really doing anything to get better. Mm. It's pushing yourself past your comfort zone. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I try to do. Hot breath. 